Low levels of vitamin A can lead to very common signs and symptoms in your body, and excessively low levels of vitamin A can lead to severe medical consequences. Vitamin A is involved in many, many hundreds of bodily functions, including vision, gene transcription, embryological development, bone metabolism, hematopoiesis, that's the development of blood cells, skin health, cellular health, uh, tooth development and tooth health later in life, and the proper function of the mucous membrane. So you can tell from just these functions that if you have low levels of vitamin A, there's gonna be a lot of dysfunction in your body and that's gonna to lead to the signs and symptoms I'm gonna tell you about later in this video. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. And this video is gonna tell you the seven signs of low vitamin A. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about vitamin A metabolism and where you can actually get it from. And I'm gonna refer you to another video that you can actually learn about vitamin A rich foods because some of the information you've been given about where to find vitamin A in your diet is wrong. If you just Google uh, food sources of vitamin A, you're going to read hundreds of articles that tell you that the best sources of vitamin A are spinach, Swiss chard, sweet potato, and carrots. And uh, these articles are put out by well-meaning people, but they believe that you should eat a plant-based diet. And so they're telling you, you should eat these things if you want vitamin A. The problem is, is what they're actually talking about that these things contain is carotenoids like beta carotene, alpha carotene, and others, not real vitamin A. Real vitamin A is retinol. And your body, when you eat spinach or Swiss chard or any of these other vitamin A rich foods, your body has to convert that carotenoid into actual vitamin A, retinol, in your system before your body can actually use it. The problem is, for many, many people, is that they are very poor converters of the carotenoids into actual vitamin A. And I'm gonna pop some research up on the screen that shows, and this is a large body of research that shows that the conversion rate, the ability to be able to convert beta carotene into actual vitamin A is anywhere from three and a half percent to 27%. And so if you are a very poor converter of the carotenoids, beta carotene, into actual vitamin A, you're gonna eat, have to eat a hell of a lot of spinach or Swiss chard or sweet potato or carrot in order to be able to get enough vitamin A that your body can actually use. So the seven most common signs and symptoms of low vitamin A are, number one, frequent infections. This can be infections of the skin, the throat or the lung. But anytime you're having frequent infections, it could very well be low vitamin A that is contributing to that. Number two is dry and scaly skin. And if this gets dry and scaly enough, you can actually uh, initiate acne flare-ups or eczema flare-ups from the irritation of this dry skin. Number three is dandruff dry scalp and dry hair. Very, very common with uh, cursory low vitamin A. Number four is tender eyelids, dry eyelids. And then if your vitamin A deficiency is bad enough, you can even develop dry eye syndrome from low vitamin A. Number five, if a woman's vitamin A levels get low enough, then she can become infertile and have severe difficulty becoming pregnant. Number six is stunted growth. In children, it's very common if they have poor sources of vitamin A in their diet that they will not attain their maximal height as an adult. Their growth is stunted. And then number seven is poor wound healing. Uh, vitamin A is involved, as I intimated earlier, with proper skin cell function. And if your skin cells are not functioning properly, then a cut or an abrasion on your skin is just gonna take a whole lot longer to heal. I've included research links in the show notes down below so that you can check this out for yourself. I never want you to blindly believe me or anybody else out there. Always verify for yourself. And also I'm gonna put a pop-up here for my video about foods that are actually rich in real vitamin A. Uh, many pregnant women and the, the parents of many children have been scared about 
vitamin A rich foods, they've been told, oh, you should actually avoid these foods because they're somehow bad for you. Uh, this is absolutely not true. These are ancestrally appropriate foods for human beings and we should eat from this list of foods often. If you have any friends or family members who suffer from the seven signs and symptoms that I talked about, please share this video with them. It could drastically improve their health. And as always, you're welcome to share this video on your social media to help me to help more people. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.